And David Furnish, the husband of pop legend Elton John, has popped up on Sly News with some rather confusing commentary on the recent Philip Schofield saga. First and Sistine, the former This Morning presenter, was right to resign before echoing Elton's recent comments by branding the media coverage of the scandal as homophobic. Watch. Philip Schofield and Elton agrees behaved inappropriately um, and it could be perceived as an abuse of power and it was also he, he lied about it mm. so he behaved inappropriately. I think what was horrifying to watch was what I would call a disproportionate um, response within certain levels of the media where it was written about over and over and over where they were piling on uh, for days and then weeks continually writing negative, highly critical pieces. It felt disproportionate to the situation at hand. Mm. He did an interview, he acknowledged he'd made mistakes, he wants to go forward with his life. Delighted to welcome to the show Fleet Street legend, former editor of The Sun, Calvin McKenzie. Calvin, why are they bringing homophobia into this when Schofield himself concealed his sexuality while married to a woman for decades and only actually revealed the sexuality as a way to stop the story about the young runner coming out? I just don't see how this is homophobic. Kelvin, do you? Well, well, actually, it's worse than that because in the original Elton John interview last week, mm. he said that had this been a girl, a girl, a woman mm. he'd had the relationship with, it would all been over with in a matter of days. Actually, it would have been a lot worse. This would have been a girl of 15 who was hired thanks to uh, the, quotes, uh, relationship when, he was, when she was 18 and the relationship started when she was 20. I, I'm not, I, there, there would have been a good possibility of plot going around if it had been a girl. So it is completely, uh, completely wrong. And the other issue that I didn't like about uh, what Elton John said was that he claimed that, that the homophobia was on the march in the United States. Now, mm. he, he probably has got his ear closer to the ground on this kind of stuff than I have. But actually, I haven't seen anything. As far as I can see, there is no such thing, as far as I can detect anyway, in the UK or the Western world in, called homophobia. What there is is a fantastic embracing of anybody's sexuality. And so I, I, I wonder whether it's because Elton John fears that without having the microphone anymore, because it's his last tour, whether he feels he's got to carry on saying this kind of stuff in order to make himself and his mm. partner furnish relevant. I, I think it's completely wrong, and they should actually, on this subject, uh, they should keep out of it.